All right, so first of all, go to Google, search what you see here to download Heidi SQL, which is a tool that we'll need on a Windows computer and also on your Android phone. So download that. Go over to Emo Coach. You can just Google the site if you can't see the URL. Make an account. You do have to purchase um, the repack. Go to the forum, download the links you see here. The links are password protected, or the files are. So use the passwords you saw on that page. Here I got the passwords mixed up, but go ahead and unzip the files you downloaded from EmoCoach. There are better guides on how to set up the private server itself. This video is not mainly about this part. Okay, and then go ahead and put all of the files in one folder, download everything you see here. Feel free to slow down the video or pause the video if you need to. I'm going pretty fast. Alright, and then go ahead and go into the server folder to start up the server like I just did. And so now SQL is running on your computer. Unzip Heidi SQL, open Heidi SQL. And then the password here is ascent. A S C E N T. User is root. And then the reason we're doing this is we're going to export this database as an SQL file, which you'll see here in just a second. And then move that to your Android phone. And then make sure to check the check marks to the left for all of the MOP databases. Do create for both databases and tables, and replace existing data. It'll take a lot longer than this. I sped up that part of the clip. Okay, now go to Google Play, download KS Web. KS Web is gonna be SQL, an SQL server basically on your phone. And then make sure to turn on MySQL in KS Web. Open up WinLater. And then I'm assuming you already have Heidi SQL downloaded onto your phone. So open up Heidi SQL, same as you did on the PC. Here I got a little bit confused. Um, there we go. So you have to make the databases that we saw in Heidi SQL. So make the ones you see me making here. Should be four in total. And then after we do this, we are going to import the SQL file that you made on your computer that you moved over to your Android phone. So here's that file, I'm going to import it. It'll take a while. Just click yes, yes. Okay, so now it's gonna process that and basically move all of that data that we need for the World of Warcraft server over into the SQL server running on your phone. it will take some time. This is sped up by 10 times. All right, go ahead and do what I'm doing here. Go and edit the world config file. Change the number of player bots to about 50 max. You don't really need more than that for our purposes of playing on a phone offline. Go ahead and open up the two files you just saw me open. So auth server, world server, those should be open. Now world server will, re will require a license the first time you open it. Like I mentioned before, to get that license, you have to pay money to the great developers that made this repack. Here, all I'm doing, I just got the license in Android, pasted it in a text document. Here, I'm gonna open up that text document. There's my license key, copy it within WinLater, and then you can paste it into your world, your, uh, world server quite easily that way. All right, opening up Key Manager. That's just to translate my keys over. I have another video about that, if you would like to watch it.
Now I'm just going to go ahead and open up WoW. Once you see Initialize Auction House Spot, you can go ahead and open up WoW. Oh, and before we do that, we do have to make sure, go to your config.wtf, make sure that set realm list is set to 127.0.0.1. All right, so now World of Warcraft is open. I'm going to fast forward through the loading screens here. Hellfire Peninsula, Outland. And performance can be much better than what you're seeing here. My phone has been doing quite a bit with the screen recording and setting up the repack and quite a few things have been going on. So before you load up the game, I recommend restarting your phone. And when it restarts, clear your memory. Make sure your phone's in game mode if it has something like that. Make sure that when later is not being throttled by anything in the settings. Same goes for KS Web. It has to be open in the background too. And here I'm just showing my settings. 1080p with some high and some ultra, the most important things. I set to high and ultra. And there I did show that I'm offline. Phone is in airplane mode. So playing World of Warcraft on a phone 100% without internet pretty cool. Yeah, these are all player bots, not actual players, but they are pretty good. And then if you want to set up the server on a separate device and play online, you can also do that too. That's how I usually play, and it does work a bit better that way, as it leaves more processing power for the game itself. But if you want to take WoW with you on like a plane or camping or somewhere with no internet, then this is pretty cool that you can do that now, all just on your phone. All right, so thanks for watching. Feel free to go back and pause. I did go kind of fast, so I hope this helps. Thanks a bunch. May the light guide you.